fish pie, which is a recipe that I've been cooking for many years and developing to get it just the way I like it. You may have read books or gone online to check for fish recipes and you might wonder why there are so many ingredients and so many variations. Um, and I think it's very important that we get a balance between all the ingredients so they come together harmoniously for a fish pie. Sometimes I think they can jar a little bit. I don't, for example, like squid and mussels in a fish pie. I like to put together ingredients that for me work together harmoniously. And today I want to describe why I've chosen the ingredients I have and why they work together so well. What I'm looking for in a fish pie are discernible flakes of fish. And I like to use fresh salmon, undyed smoked haddock, crayfish and smoked salmon trimmings. Just one little tip when handling smoked fish. If you get it on your hands, wash them in cold water, not hot, because if you wash them in hot water, it opens the pores, the smell goes into your hands and you'll be carrying it for days. I like to incorporate an element of sweetness in the fish pie. In order to achieve this, I use double cream, shallots and crayfish. Of course, sweetness has to be balanced with acidity. And in order to achieve this, I use dry white wine and lemon zest. I like to add whole grain mustard and mature cheddar to give the dish savouriness. And finally, a good sprinkling of fresh parsley for freshness. The first step is to put some stock on, I've got a litre of stock here which I'm going to heat up and to that I'm going to add my haddock and salmon. And it's very important that these poach gently for a few minutes because I don't want them to break up or overcook. While the fish is poaching, I'm going to make what's called a white wine shallot reduction. And to do this, I'm going to cook the shallots in 50 grams of butter, so they're soft, and then add some white wine, which I'm going to reduce, and then I'm going to add some double cream. I reduce that slightly too. I've simmered the fish for about uh, four or five minutes at 90 degrees C, just below the boiling point, as I say, because I don't want it to break up. So now it's nicely poached, so I'm going to remove it from the stove and remove the fish from the stock. The white wine and shallots are reduced now, so I'm ready to add my double cream. To make the velouté sauce, I need 100 grams of melted butter and 100 grams of plain flour. I melt the butter, it's completely melted, and then I add the flour and mix it in thoroughly, but without colouring the flour. After a minute or two, I'm going to add the fish stock, gradually, very, very slowly, so that I get a nice amalgamation of the sauce without it becoming lumpy. I've amalgamated all the fish stock into the roux. The sauce is a little bit too thick over here at the moment, but I have got this extra sauce here, which is my white wine and shallot reduction. So I'm going to add this to the velouté. And I'm going to cook it for about another 15 minutes, but I'm also going to add one more element, which is for the savoury note, and that's the whole grain mustard. 50 grams of whole grain mustard. Works really well actually mustard in a white sauce, creamy sauce. And it goes very, very well with fish. In terms of seasoning, you've got to be very, very careful with this recipe because obviously the smoked salmon and the haddock are salty. So I'm going to adjust the sauce at the end if needed. But in the meantime, I am going to add some white pepper. The sauce is now cooked, so we're ready to combine all our ingredients together to make our fish pie. So, here we are adding the smoked paddock and salmon. Next is smoked salmon trimmings. 
these are fantastic because you've got a real piquancy and a strong, beautiful, strong smoked salmon flavour. And you can actually buy smoked salmon trimmings from supermarkets, but quite cheaply actually, and it really does enhance the dish. Followed by crayfish. Now these are already cooked, so I haven't cooked these crayfish out, obviously, because they're going to go tough. Some lemon zest. And for freshness, chopped parsley. So we're going to gently combine all this together, making sure that we don't break up the fish. Finally, I just need to taste this to make sure it's got the right flavour. So with a clean spoon, I'm going to taste the sauce. It doesn't require any more salt. The smoked salmon I've had it is seasoned it really well. So finally we've come to the fish pie assembly. Um, for this, I'm going to put the fish pie mix into the bowl, top it with mash, and then top that with mature cheddar cheese before putting it into the oven. fish pie without mature cheddar cheese. I'm now going to pop the fish pie into the oven, probably for about 20-25 minutes until it's really nice and golden and uh, delicious. minutes and I'm ready to take it out now and see what it's like. There we are. That looks quite appetizing. All that remains for us to do now is put it on the plate. I'm serving my fish pie today with a very simple accompaniment of broccoli. So here we have it, the windmill fish pie. Thanks for watching. The fish pie recipe is on the website. Next month there will be another pie and we hope to see you then.